Authorities are describing this scene in Philadelphia as horrific and painful. At least seven people died and more than 200 people were injured in Tuesday night's Amtrak train derailment. A preliminary investigation has determined the train was speeding when it jumped the tracks. This, according to NTSB board member Robert Sumwalt. Maximum authorized speed through this curve was 50 miles per hour. When the engineer-induced brake application was applied, the train was traveling at approximately 106 miles per hour. Three seconds later, when the data to the recorders terminated, the train speed was 102 miles per hour. The NTSB says they expect to remain in Philadelphia for about a week, while authorities scramble to find those passengers unaccounted for. The search area has actually been expanded. Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter says rescue teams fear some victims may have been thrown from the train. As answers slowly emerge, new concerns are being raised about the state of the country's aging railways, with victims still shaken from last night's disaster.